Good afternoon slash evening everybody on this Thursday, November 26th. Happy Thanksgiving. It is 4.50 in the afternoon and evening. <laughs> I did not get a chance to open the vlog this morning because I slept in. I did not get out of bed until 9 o'clock. I had an alarm set for 8. It did go off at 8 o'clock. I proceeded to hit snooze for an entire hour and it was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. I just knocked the uh, dishwasher with my hiney as I lean against it. Did I even go that low? <laughs> yeah, the dishwasher. Anywho, um, it is five o'clock just about. We've literally spent over five hours, five, it was like five and a half hours we spent at my sister-in-law's house. Um, I got out of bed at nine. Um, I ended up getting in the shower around 9.30, 9.45-ish and then got the veggie tray together, which was this right here. You can see the remnants of broccoli. Um, and I got that put together, which John had already done the hard work. He had cut up the veggies. Um, so I just threw it all in there, got that together, and we left here by like 10.45. Um, we were at my sister-in-law's by 11, and I guess we were there for about five hours because we just got home a couple minutes ago. Just long enough for the boys to walk the girls. Um, our puppy dogs. Right, Butter? Right, Buttercup? Yes. Oh my gosh. Apparently. Stop, stop. It was clean. Well, it's not clean, and it's just that it's now all the way. It had gone through an entire cycle and was dried and clean. Oh, Jessica. Apparently my butt turned the dishwasher on. Not only did it shut it, but it turned it on. Wonderful. Now all the dishes are wet. Awesome. I'm just gonna leave that open. They will, they'll air dry. I'm not worried about having uh, water spots on my dishes. <sighs> only me and my butt, right? Right, buttercup? Only me and my butt. You wouldn't turn the dishwasher on. I don't like this dishwasher. The oven's okay. Um, it's a GE. I think when they bought it, it was probably like a super great uh, uh, stove. Um, but on my uh, oven at my new house, or my old house, <laughs> my oven at my old house had glass tops, which I think might heat up better than these circular thingies, right? Um, I used to cook everything on two at that house. Everything. Whether I was making eggs, a, a, a quesadilla, it didn't matter what I was making, I cooked it on two. <clears throat> Here, I have to cook it on five. So it just doesn't get as hot. The oven is just fine. The oven is not a problem at all. The oven actually works pretty well. Um, I've made bacon in the oven. That's about all I've made in the oven though. I've made bacon in the oven and it gets cooked faster than at my other house which is funny because we got a convection oven at the other house and convection ovens are supposed to cook more efficiently um this oven actually does better than the convection oven that i have at the new at the old house i keep saying new house because that's a newer house this house was built in 1964 that house was built in 2000 so it's 36 years younger than this house is but Anyway, um, the oven here works. I have not used the secondary oven that's over here. I have not used that at all yet. So I don't know how that one works. Um, but this dishwasher, I can't stand. The refrigerator, I'm not a big fan of either. It's a smaller refrigerator, although it doesn't look terrible. It's a smaller refrigerator than the, um, the silver one at the, at the house, the, that was at the old house that is currently in our basement until we take the time to figure out how to disconnect the doors and the drawers to get it in this room because none of the doors into this room are big enough to get the refrigerator through. So, and if we wanna get this refrigerator out, we're gonna to have to disconnect the doors and the drawer on this refrigerator to get it out. So that's a problem. Anyhow, I miss my other refrigerator. We will get it there at some point. It probably will not be until 2021, to be honest. Um, just straight up, we're probably, it's probably not gonna be until 2021. Um, I'm gonna go right now stop talking to you because my son Neil is getting ready to leave He's gonna be leaving for about 12 days 8 10 days something like that What no today's the sixth so for get yeah, 12 days. He's gonna be gone for 12 days So he's going down to Maryland to spend some time with his girlfriend and finish up his 
end of semester? Because your semester's over by the time you get back here, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, so he's he's going down to finish off his semester and spend a, a couple of days, 12 days with his girlfriend. So I'm going to miss him. So I'm going to say goodbye to you all right now. And I'm going to say goodbye to my son. And then John and I are going to go over to the old house. We're going to do just a little bit of work. I'm probably going to pack up some stuff in the car. He is going to sand um, the walls that he patched last night to see if they need another fill of stuff um and that's probably all we're gonna do today and then we're gonna come back here and i think we're just gonna watch a movie again it's thanksgiving guys right i don't know what you guys do on thanksgiving but home improvement is not something that i'm interested in doing too much of on thanksgiving so we're gonna go and do that we're gonna do one trip over there and then we're gonna come back here and probably watch some movies <sighs> My son, you're not gonna see him pretend for 12 days. Not that he makes much of an appearance on here. Nick makes more of an appearance than Neil does, but that's Neil's hat from England that he got when he went over there a couple years ago. So anyway, he's gonna get some of the Jello dish that I made. Uh, my sister-in-law was kind enough to give him some turkey and some sweet potato casserole that she had made as well. So he's gonna bring some Jello, some turkey, and some sweet potato casserole to his girlfriend as well. So I can't believe I turned on the dishwasher. <laughs> I'm gonna go and I will see you guys later on tonight. Bye. All right, you guys, it is 8.30 and we are watching The Sound of Music. When was the last time you saw this movie, huh? When was the last time you saw The Sound of Music? Mm -mm. What are you playing? Know. Fortnite, oh, you're spinning in circles. Yes, that's sometimes. That's why you need a Joy-Con. Yes, that's why I need a Joy-Con. So it's 8.30. 8.37, 8.38, that sort of range. Um, but we're gonna call it a night because John and I are gonna watch The Sound of Music which has like two hours left. It's like a forever long, it's like a three hour long movie. So we're gonna watch the rest of this movie. Well, we'll probably put Nick to bed before the movie's over, but we are enjoying this movie. I know I've been neglecting YouTube for the entire month of November. That's okay. It's okay because I'm living my life and my life right now is revolving around moving my house. Right, Nick? So, all right, you want to say good night and then we'll then I'll finish talking to them. Go ahead. Well, what are you thankful thanks. today because it's Thanksgiving? You and everyone else. There's a little Wednesday down here. You're thankful for your family, huh? Yep. Thankful for Who won the football game? The Thanksgiving football game. Your uh, cousins? Yes. Yeah. They, the cousins won. All right, go ahead, hit it. Of course, they have to cheat to win. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. today has been yesterday. And I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. Hope you have a great day. And we'll and see, we'll you, see tomorrow. you tomorrow. All right, good night, buddy. Well, I know you're not going to bed yet, but anyway, um, I kind of went there. She's, she's literally following me around. Problem is, Neil left. And she knows Neil's not here. That's the paint for the deck, by the way. She knows Neil's not here, so she's kind of like. She's in, in need of, of a friend, so. Trying to figure out where in the in this house we want to have her sleep, um, because everything is still so new. She's really getting into everything, and Neil's going to be gone for 12 days. I'm very nervous about where we're going to have her sleep and how we're going to have her sleep. So, yeah, yeah, Wentz. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, baby. Because I put her in our room, but <clears throat> there's just so much to get into in there. So. Anyway, we are watching this movie. I'm singing. I can't watch a musical without singing along. And if you're watching on Disney Plus, which our Disney Plus membership that we got because we have Verizon cell phones um, is about to expire literally next week. So um, we got to decide if we're going to pay for it or not. But uh, yeah, our Disney Plus is running out. So, but pretty much I can't watch a musical without singing along with it. So I've been singing along and John's been tolerating me singing along. <laughs> That's why he suggested we watch it, he says. So, anyway, I do like this movie. I, wa I used to watch it with my family when I was a child. Um, my mother, her favorite song in the entire movie was Edelweiss. Um, I think she said her grandmother used to sing it. Something like that. I just remember that it was her favorite song. So, um, I never really could appreciate that song very much because it's so slow. Um... But since she's passed away, I have a much bigger appreciation for it, um, to be honest. So anyway, um, I am getting a beverage to drink 
and we're gonna wrap out our Thanksgiving holiday. Now tomorrow, my dad's coming over to the old house. He's gonna walk through it with us and he's gonna give me his two cents as a realtor on where we should spend our time and money. I would really like to get the house on the market by next week, um, if at all humanly possible. So I'm gonna ask him where he thinks we should spend our time and money. And if he recommends we paint, then I paint. If he recommends that we don't paint, then I don't paint. Um, personally, I think it would look better if we painted, but if he doesn't think that it's gonna give us really that much of a return on investment, I mean, I have some paint. I can do some touch-up area in some, you know, some areas. Um, and honestly, most people, when they buy a house, they end up painting anyway, especially like an older house like that. It's not old, but it's 20 years old. Um, most people when they move in they, they paint. I mean, I painted in here when we first moved in and I'm still painting. I have to paint the dining room. Um, I told John I want to paint the dining room before Christmas because we always have the families over at Christmas. So I do want to paint the dining room before Christmas. I would love to paint the hallway before Christmas. The living room is done. The entryway is not done though. So if I could make a wish list of what I'd like to paint before Christmas time when everybody comes, I would like the entryway, the hallway, and the dining room. Um, that pretty much, except for the trim in the third bedroom, Nick's bedroom's done. I have some touch-ups to do in there. My office is done. The third bedroom needs the trim. Um, but if I do the entryway and the hallway and the dining room, the entirety of the main house has been painted. Um, we still have some painting to do in our wing, the master wing, so to speak, the apartment. Um, but I don't really expect to have people over there for extended periods of time. Uh, the people who have not seen the house yet, we might take them over just to give them, you know, a view of the house because, you know, it's family and they're curious so we might show them that end of the house just to show them you know what it looks like but if it's not painted it's not that big a deal but I would like to get the entryway the hallway the dining room which is half dry or half uh, wallpaper anyway I don't know if you guys can see it's wallpaper up to about there and then there's a chair rail and down is the painted area so it's less than half the room that actually needs painted in there and the ceiling um, but I could probably get that room painted in less than a day and then the entryway and the hallway painted in less than a day. But I don't know, it might be two days because the hallway does go in a big uh, loop. So I don't know. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. We already closed out the vlog. Today I am thankful for just so much. Um, I'm thankful for so much. I'm thankful that we have our new house I'm thankful that we got John's truck. I'm thankful that we were able to order John's lawnmower and the greenhouse that I wanted. And um, we got new locks for all the doors. So next week, all new door handles are gonna be here. They're gonna be coming to the house. And we are pretty much re uh, replacing the door handles in on every single door throughout the entire house. It won't be done quickly. We're gonna do it over time probably over the next you know, month to two months because there are 28 doors in this property. <laughs> yeah, probably what we'll do is do the uh, key lock doors first because we got um, quick sets so we can key them all the same basically. Um, so that's probably what we're gonna do first so that we can have keys made and Nicholas and Neil and John and I can all have keys to all of the locked doors. Um, so that's probably what we're gonna do net first and then like the doorknobs for the bedrooms and bathrooms and stuff will come later, so. But I have so much to be thankful for this year. I really do. <laughs> I'm very, very thankful. So, for everything, for the house, for John's car, for my family, I have so much to be thankful for. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go. We're gonna watch the rest of Sound of Music. I'm gonna keep singing, and <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Black Friday. I'm not doing any Black Friday shopping, to my knowledge. Nothing is really, I don't need anything. Let's be honest, I don't need anything. I am good. I'm good. 
um nicholas sent us a christmas list so i might look at a couple of those things neil was like i'm good guys i have already bought him socks and underwear they are somewhere in this house in a box <laughs> i'm not 100 percent certain where but there are socks and underwear for neil somewhere in this house that we're going to give him um, I asked him if he needed a new pair of shoes. He said he still has an unworn pair of shoes that are that are in his room that he does not need a new pair. So he's good there. Um, I have so much to be thankful for. I hope you can say the same. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.